11 amateur and professional chefs from all across Zambia. Who will be crowned amateur and professional master cook Zambia 2017 and win the 15,000 and 10,000 kwacha prize money? Master cook. Time to meet our contestants. First up, we have Sunday Kalaluka, professional chef from Livingston. Sunday is head chef at Kubu Cafe, which is Livingston's most popular lunch spot. His lemon cheesecake during the preliminary rounds wowed judges and secured him a spot in the finals. Let's see if Livingston is set to take the crown again this year. Chef Womba Mufundi, amateur chef from Lusaka. Womba is a trainee physiotherapist who's an extremely talented cook. Her deconstructed pear crumble and duck for main course wowed the judges during the preliminary round. Womba knows her food, but let's see if she can handle the pressure of a professional kitchen. Then we have Chef Davis Mulenga, professional chef from Livingston. Davis is executive chef at Waterbury Zambezi Lodge in Livingston. Chef Davis has shown passion and determination in the qualifying rounds and now we get to see whether this is enough to secure him the title of Zambia's master cook. Aretha, amateur chef from Ndola. Aretha is an accountant by profession and is finance director at an NGO. She loves to cook and entertain friends and relatives at home. Will Aretha put the Copper Belt province on the culinary map of Zambia? Meet Katatala, professional chef from Lusaka. Chef Kat, as he is affectionately known, was trained at the prestigious Prulaith's Academy in South Africa. His specialities are classic French and Italian cuisine. He is also known for his pan-African dishes and his ingenious use of ingredients by followers of his blog. Can Chef Kat carry the day and win for Lusaka? Master cook. Chef Samuel, amateur from Lusaka. The trainee doctor can cook, play guitar, and ride a motorcycle. The multi-talented Samuel has proven he's good with his hands, but let's see how far he can make it to the competition. Meet Kelvin, professional chef from Livingston. Kelvin works at the David Livingston Spa and Safari Lodge as junior sous chef. He is no stranger to the master cook kitchen as he is entering the competition for the second time. He really will give the other contestants a run for their money as he is in it to win it. Meet Moya, amateur chef from Lusaka. Banker by day and aspiring chef by night. Moya is a regular at the foodies market, preparing gourmet dishes for his clients. He was also a finalist for Zambia Chef of the Year 2017. He has a huge following on social media where he shares his recipes and blogs about food. Dev Singh, professional chef from Lusaka. Chef Dev is the executive chef at the Royal Dill restaurant, one of Lusaka's most popular Indian food restaurants. Chef Dev left his family in India to move to Zambia to cook authentic Indian cuisine. Will he return home with the title of Zambia's number one chef? Karu Horn, amateur chef from Kitwe. 
The 17-year-old amateur chef loves to cook for friends and family and aspires to be a chef and own her own restaurant. Kanu loves making dessert and Indian cuisine is one of her favorites. Can the 17-year-old handle the pressure in a professional kitchen and secure herself a spot in the next round? Meet Chef Ahmad, professional from Lusaka. Chef Ahmad runs an American soul food restaurant in Lusaka. Ahmad is a creative and accomplished chef who has worked in different kitchens all around the world. Master cook. Coming up next. My name is Linda Mukombe. Uh, my co-host is the beautiful Liando. Hello everyone, good evening. So our program is going to begin. Fine Dining Night Challenge, we have put the contestants into three teams. This would be the perfect opportunity to learn to work together in a high pressure environment. I will be hosting you. My name is Wendo Mukombe. Uh, my co host is the beautiful Luyando. Hello, everyone. Good evening. We certainly hope that you guys are famished and. Uh, ready for some exquisite dining. I can see you nodding over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so our program is going to begin. I am happy to introduce um, those who are here, starting with one of our head judges who's just walking past us. Sam, come and say hello. <laughs> this is Chef Sam Mo. He is um, our head judge this evening. Um, he is leading a team of five judges. Um, when it comes to food, we've got table manners. But when it, become, when it comes to MC, we've got to observe protocol. And in observing this protocol, we'd like to thank the Deputy Ambassador of Italy uh, for coming through. And we'd also like to thank uh, Mr. Boas Mufundi, the CEO of Crossroads Lodges, for coming through, and all of you for also coming through. We would also like to recognize our sponsors for this evening. We have a team from Pamela, Zambia. We also have some representatives from Unilever, Zambia. Thank you very much for being with us here tonight. It certainly couldn't have been possible without you. We also would like to recognize our other cooperating partner, CEO, Managing Director of Zambia National Tourism Agency, Mr. Chayla. Thank you for being here. He's here with um, Mr. Kirsten Stanfi as well, who works with him. Thank you very much for your support and for being here. We started preliminary rounds in Osaka, we went then to Kitwe, we went to Chipata, and we ended up in Livingston, where we asked professional and amateur con contestants who were interested and had a passion in showing off what they could do and in learning different types of cuisines to come through and show us what they did. The cream of those who showed up are the people who are in the kitchen today. We have both amateur and professionals who have been paired up into teams today. There are three teams of chefs who are cooking, the menu that has been set before you on your tables has been set by our judges. The waiters will come around now to take your orders for your starters. And um, we shall have some more um, music from the Kuni and the Soul Sessions band. Team 1 was led by Chef Ahmad Rashan with two amateurs Karu and Moya and professional chef Kelvin. 
A chef for Sean. I, we understand you're a, you're a professional chef. I'm a professional. So you were, you were obviously leading. Were you no. leading a team? I was leading the team. You were leading a team. How did you work with your amateur chefs? Oh, man. How did that work out for you? Oh, they was awesome, man. They, they, they all, they all listened. They, you know, they took initiative well. A lot of the guys already knew how to prep, do prep work, and things of that nature. So it was easy for me, for me man. I enjoyed working with them a lot. Sounds like Chef Ahmad had fun. See a tag team effort there. Looking well organized. Master Cook. Team two was led by Dev Singh. Now, Chef Dev does not really speak English, meaning Samuel had to be the translator for the team. Let's see how these guys work together. So we're here with Samuel. Samuel is one of our amateur contestants who's very, very talented. It takes a lot to get on this platform and perform in front of hundreds of guests. So tell me, how, how was it taking instruction in a very high pressure environment? Was it, um, was it easy to actually get instruction? Or did you feel like you were distracted by everything that was going on around you? And you had to kind of strike a balance between listening to your instructions and also your natural instinct? Well, uh, fortunately, both my, uh, my chefs, um, Chef Day and Chef Sunday, they were very nice. Chef Sunday hit the ground running right from the start. And Dev seemed pretty relaxed under pressure. And moving right along. Chef Cat was our captain for Team 3 with Womba, Davis and Aretha. So that's two amateurs and two professionals. Let's see how they were able to perform as a team. Master Cook. Chef Cat, you, tell us, tonight, exciting? Yeah. It was cool. Adrenaline was pumping. Did it happen the way you thought it was going to happen? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was smooth sailing, but I mean, uh, you know, the challenge is what makes us do what we do. Okay. I mean, it's not for the, you know, if I wanted to get a boring job, I sat behind a desk. Yeah. But it was cool. You know, uh -huh. I like to play with fire. It was fire. Like, like to play with fire? Did you get burned? That's the question. No, getting good at this, not getting burned. <laughs> so. Looks like Chef Cat's lighting is fire. Some delicate paintwork there, Davis. Team 3 is busy preparing tempura prawns and noodles as one of their starters. And we had Aretha on potato design duty. Coming up next. It's heating up in the kitchen. Let's go and see what's going on. Will they manage to get the orders out on time? Master Cook. So, it's heating.
heating up in the kitchen. The ingredients are in and the chefs are cooking. Let's go and see what's going on. Eleven chefs in a small kitchen space. This looks like pressure. Let's have a look at Team One's menu. For starters, we had spinach mousse, cream of spinach soup, and for mains, we had beef wellington and hake fillet. Triple chocolate mousse cake for dessert. Ooh, yum. We had uh, the task of uh, preparing the uh, beef wellington. And, uh, and with that, we had a uh, red wine juice that we made with it and some uh, roasted vegetables. Uh, and, uh, you know, we just kind of designed it together. Uh, we're about to clean the stand up to make a red wine with vegetable sauce for our beef uh, wellington. Okay. All right. Yeah, so that's all we're doing over here. Okay, so what you doing? It's not mine, but this look like uh, some type of pork. This look like roasted carrots, and this look like uh, something that we're going to use in the bread. Okay, so, uh, I'm just going to give them this carol, uh, <laughs> the bag of carols. All right, what are you doing? I'm making roasted vegetables for our main Okay. Yes. Yeah. How much time do you have left? This is $19. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm interested. Okay. You're in a team of how many? I'm ready to go. You're ready to go? Oh, you're the only girl out of three boys. No? I'm sure you're going to add that feminine touch that we all need in our cooking. She said girl power. I think we were running behind time. Does that clock say 10 o'clock? You look like a very honest man. Tell me, any regrets? Did you guys, as a team, as a unit, did you do anything wrong that you think the judges could possibly penalize you on? Uh, to be honest, I think we started a bit slow, uh, getting our first plates out. Amen. One more spinach. Okay. No wonder Moyers put on his running shoes. This spinach was Did you experience any any particular challenges that you want to share? Was there anything that you felt hindered you from? from fulfilling your task as quickly as you should have. Do you think you did everything on time? Do you think you did your best? Do you think you were uh, I mean, I always do my best. Team 2 had the mini fish and mushroom pie and roasted red pepper for starters. And for mains, the chicken roulade and cauliflower and pumpkin curry. And for dessert, the carrot cake with homemade ice cream. Delicious! What are you cooking? Like the menu is there in the outside. Okay. So this is going to be like this is going to be the base for our chicken. It's a base for your chicken. Yeah. So like we have chicken breast and then we're going to make like a filling for the chicken, and then uh, this will be our base. 
tomato. Then the chicken will lie on top of it, and then we're gonna uh, put uh, uh, baking soda on top. So how much time do you have left before your meal is finished? Well, we just we are still waiting for our ingredients, like right? half of our ingredients. <laughs> Like our starters is mushroom, uh, mushroom and fish fries. Uh, so we will have the uh, pastry with all the mushrooms. Uh, and even this one requires mushroom stuffing. Are they in gloves today? Uh, well, we just, we just do the best that we can. You know, okay. we're just trying to work with whatever we have in hand. What were your challenges? Uh, my challenges was uh, the stock. The stock. We have to stop on time. Oh boy, the guys look really worried. Meanwhile, the guest was starving and looking agitated. Chef Dev looks cool, calm and collected. Oh, that looks hot. Ingredients, were they on time? Let's not go there. Ooh, touchy subject. Uh, waiter, whose fingers in my soup? And our lovely waiter to the rescue. Kuni and the Soul Sessions band doing their best to distract the guests from their hunger. What dishes did you prepare today? So we did a, a sage and honey pork belly with fondant potatoes, and apple puree, and a honey mustard juice. I'm and sure the viewers was... are even getting hungry hearing that. Call me. And then... <laughs> so team three had the consomme and tempura prawns for starters. For main course, they had the honey and sage pork, and butternut and feta cheese ravioli. And for dessert, the vanilla and lemon panna cotta. We had uh, a stuffed uh, pumpkin and feta ravioli, uh, tomato corn cast, and the flavored rosemary flavored oil. And we had tempura prawns, uh, wasabi mayo, and a sweet chili sauce, and like a soy reduction. And for dessert, we had a honey, ginger, and yogurt panna cotta. Raspberry coolie, the brandy snap that. Uh, right now, you are making cooking sound like a size. It is a size. It is a size. Okay, so it's a strap. How do you feel about masks? Good, good, good. So who will make a plan? So how much time do you have until you have I've not looked at the watch. This is 19 hours, 7 p.m. 
Are we running late? Yeah, we are. So looks like Team 3 started off late as well. Ah, now we see Arita's potatoes. The honey and sage pork belly. actually enjoy preparing the most today out of all of your meals from your from your starter to your main through to your dessert what did you actually enjoy preparing and what do you think you you did as a team exemplary uh, compared to the other teams everything well, that's very brave <laughs> chef cat was feeling confident about his team's performance Still looking serious about those prods. Beef wedding short by 11, chicken rollers by 9, head fillets by 4. And the orders kept rolling in. Tempura prods, 3. Yeah, yeah. And this look says, dude, I heard you. Chef Jesse Chupindo of Dolce by Jesse Restaurant, who is also one of our finalists from season one, decides to spring into action and help the contestants in the kitchen as the pressure from the guests builds up. Wait, did Chef Jesse just ask for a beer? And the atmosphere is intense with the judges in the kitchen. Hold on a second. Was that the F word? Let's play it back. Watch your mouth, Chef Cat. The judges are around. Pressure is seriously mounting. The chefs are taking strain. Do they have what it takes to make it through this challenge? Do they have what it takes to be Zambia's number one chef? Tune in same time next week to know the answer.